Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in again. Today is a shorter video because I am not done yet with what I'm working on at this point and I need some advice from you guys. Maybe you have some ideas. So here's a quick recap on where we left off last time. I have my two control boats pretty much up and running. We're pretty much done. With my drums in the front row, I got my pecking order bird kits module sitting right here. Sequencing one row above that. All of this is basically a clean surface with no cable clutter or whatever going on. Some empty spots left for bridge modules, plenty of control things. Here is my drum section with its bridge that's coming out from here, going in here with everything here patched nice and, uh, nice and clean. Then over here, I may still make some changes because this may be, might be a little bit of overkill, but this is the other half of my drums with the wonky clock processor over here and with right now the Erica trigger over here. But yeah, this part, everything is fine and okay. Now, what I'm working on right now is basically how I'm gonna fill in this top spot. The one over here is what I'm talking about. And here it is. Let me show you what I have built so far, or what I had in mind. Here is, of course, my trusty Macbeth, the dual oscillator. This one always pairs up very nicely with the backend filter, which has to be done like this. And the funny thing is that this unit pretty much well, there's not much else I need externally to get a lot of fun out of this because this dual oscillator, it patches with itself a lot and it does all kinds of cool stuff with it. It has a ton of options for that. And this backend filter pretty much takes all its feeds from the oscillator over here. And there's a couple of things which I can take externally, like here the DLFO or whatever. Like if I want to melt out an envelope, I can do it from here. But basically this is all set. So that's nice. Over here, I have my Minimod voice, and going from left to right, I got the um, glide noise unit right here. Mostly using it for noise most of the time, but the glide itself is also fun. I have a buffered mode over here to take the um, CV from any sequencer that I am using to sequence this voice and mold it out to the three individual oscillators that are over here. So one, two, three are all populated from this one mold. Then I got three oscillators, which are these ones. They're all identical, pretty much. And they go towards the ring mod sub bass mixer. And from the ring mod sub bass mixer, I am planning to use them on the Sonic 15. And I think this is going to be a pretty cool voice. Like, I have not had this voice set up like this before, but I think if I'm looking at the module itself and at everything that... Um, that I could be doing with this, that this could be a very interesting voice to be playing with. Like, these three will all be going into the ring mod uh, sub bass mixer. Can even add in a little bit of white noise if I want to play around with that. The output from that will be going into the ladder filter. I placed the envelope right in between there uh, because one of them can be going into. Actually, that makes no sense. Here, now let me swap this out. I'm placing this one between the filter and the VCA. That way one output is going into the VCA, the other output is going into the filter, if I want to do stuff with that. Now this is going to be a fun voice, I guess, and there's an LFO up there if I'm not using it for the filter or for the oscillator over here. So all of this is pretty much nice and laid out. Now, I got a very nice suggestion on YouTube from someone who said like, hey, why don't you just clean up the bottom row of your top cases and use that for effects. And that actually makes a ton of sense because if I do it that way, then I still have control over my delays over here. And we yeah, have, I still have control over my effects. If I put them right there, they're right in front of me. And there is actually not much else that I would be placing there right now. So that actually really ended up, uh, ended up working out quite well. Now, I have the dual delay, the mod cam, and I have the magneto set up right here. And I placed a Vulcan modulator with two offset attenuators, uh, one left and one right. I'm not sure if I'm using these ones, but I will be using attenuators, I think. And that way I can take the CVs out from this and I can directly um, uh, mold them out or scale them down or whatever and send them into these delays because sometimes really just very slight 
uh, tremors in CV or whatever can have very interesting effects, especially with delays. If you do too much, it's gonna sound weird, but if you do just a little bit, then stuff starts dancing around and that's nice. Here, the idea is that I'm gonna have 10 HP, something like that, of um, input modules, the one from NW2S. And from there on, this case is pretty much done, I guess. There you go, here's a nice top shot of the whole thing. Standing on my toes to actually get this. Ah. So the question I have right now is how would you fill up these empty spots that I've left? There is quite some room in here. Well, quite some room. There is, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, two times six HP and one times four HP, what I'm seeing here. And then there's enough room for something like two times 12 HP or something like that. So that's what I still have to play with. And I'm just thinking like, what am I gonna put in there? What's gonna really make sense to really get the most out of the modules that I have going on here, provided that actually right now with the state this set is in right now, I think I'd be very happy seeing this in front of me. So my question to you is like, what would you do to take this to the next level and do something super cool with the limited space that I still have left over here. And I mean, there's still plenty to work with. Like there's frequency shifters, there's wave folders, there's phasers, I think. That could actually be nice to have a phaser over there, but I'm, I'm never sure about those things. There's extra filters that we can be placing in there. There is, well, yeah, there's a ton of stuff that I potentially could place in that one extra, in those couple of extra spaces. Yeah, basically you get the idea. Just, if you have any suggestions for what to place in those extra holes, I would love to hear it from you. And if there's anything in there that I like, then I'm definitely gonna put it in my case. All right, thanks everyone. Looking forward to your responses. See you around. Cheers. Bye.